What's the difference between a LTD and a sole trader? So when you first start a business, you'll be familiar of the term sole trader, LTD, self-employed. And this is something that you have to determine at the beginning stages of your business, whether you want to register to the government as a sole trader slash self-employed or your business as a limited company. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the differences between the two here in the UK to help you kind of make a decision on what should be the best one for you moving forward. So my business, Oh So Curly, is a limited company. And when I set up my limited company, it took me days and it was very expensive. I had to hire an accountant to do it for me. But thanks to Awesome, you can do this in just six minutes for just 12 pound using the offer with the code UK Curly Girl 100 down below in my description box. They deal with the registration, the incorporation papers and pre-approval of the best business bank account along with pairing you up with an actual person that you can speak with one-on-one -on -one to ask them any questions along the way. So again if you're interested in Awesome I will leave the link for that down below and let's just get straight into the video. So an LTD is a limited company and this means that your business is a separate company from you as a person. And usually the business and the company will have multiple owners and like a board of directors, but you can choose to be the sole owner and the sole director, which is what I've done with my business so far. I am the director of my business, of my limited company. Now a pro of having an LTD is the fact that you are separate from the company. So if the company has any debts or any losses, that isn't against you as a person. It's not against you personally it's against the business. So you don't personally have responsibility to deal with those losses and those debts. And if you are to get sued, it isn't against you as a person, it's against the company. So that kind of saves you as a individual. With LTDs, you don't pay yourself out of your business bank account just whenever you feel like it. You actually have to pay yourself as if you were staff and you can pay yourself two ways, with a salary or with dividends, or you can actually mix the both together. Now this can make you more tax efficient because if you pay yourself in dividends, you actually get more tax benefits. So it can work out better for you that way. Another pro of a limited company is the fact that you look more attractive and more trustworthy to clients, companies, retailers that may wanna work with you in the future. I know that really helped my decision on changing to a limited company because I began to work with a lot of retailers and they prefer to work with people that actually have a LTD and are registered as a company. Some of the cons of being a limited company are the fact that you can't just draw out money from your business whenever you want to. Whereas if you were a self-employed sole trader, you can pay yourself whenever you want to and you can use that money freely. Now with a limited company, you will have to file annual accounts to company's house along with the HMRC side of things so it can be a lot of paperwork and that is why with a limited company you should really have an accountant to do that for you just to remove the stress and all the paperwork and trying to understand all of the different terms and what's going on on the back end of your business when really you should be focusing on marketing and dealing with your staff and dealing with your products and your business. Another con is the fact that you have a bit less privacy with your business because once you are registered on company's house, your business is kind of public to see on the register. They can't see everything, but they can see your business address that's why I recommend that you register with something like Postbox UK so you can actually have a business address that isn't your home address and also they can see some of your financial information. Another con can be if you have lots of owners and different directors, you can't freely make certain decisions without you know, consulting them beforehand. Let's get into the pros and cons of being a sole trader. So sole trader also means self-employed, which means you are an individual business owner. So a lot of people like plumbers, hairdressers, nail techs, influencers are sole traders, they are self employed. So this means that you can manage 100% of your profit how you like, you can pay yourself whenever you want and you can manage your finances however you like to. It's also much faster and fewer rules for you to actually get set up as a sole trader and self-employed via the HMRC website. It's something that is 
kind of basic. You could do it yourself. So that makes it much easier than if you were to set up a limited company. Check out my video on bookkeeping, which goes over how to keep a record of your ins and your outs, which will help you when it comes to filing your yearly tax return as a sole trader. Please remember that you do still have to do tax returns on HMRC every single year as a sole trader as you would do as a limited company. It's just that you only have to do the tax return, you don't have to do the annual account. The cons of being a sole trader is, as a sole trader, there aren't much funding options available to you. You can typically take money from friends, family, maybe um, angel investors might take you on, and then business loans, some banks may give you business loans, but for most other funding options, you would have to be a limited company. Another thing is that harsh decisions fall on you so if you are someone that can't really manage a lot of pressure and a lot of stress on yourself you may want to become a limited company and have other people help you out with those decisions and your business venture and the last con is the fact that you are actually responsible for any debts any losses any lawsuits that are against your business because it's you as a sole trader that's responsible which is one of the reasons why i did also file as a limited company because i began to do a lot more trade shows events pop-up shops which can be quite dangerous because you are going to be liable if someone trips over something and hurts themselves. If someone wants to claim that something went wrong with a product and they want to blame you for it, again, you may want to actually become a limited company so they're not suing you as an individual, they're suing the company. Also, I filed as a limited company because I wanted to look more attractive to getting wholesale orders. And also when it comes to things like buying a house or renting, they do look at your records as a business owner. It does look better to them if you do have a limited company than being self-employed. It just, for some reason, looks better to them. They like to see the tax return and that your business is registered. So maybe think about that if you're looking to buy in the future, if you're looking to rent somewhere and you are only self-employed, you don't have a job, it may be a bit more difficult for you to go through that process. Now, if you are a complete beginner, I would say maybe go ahead with the sole trader option while you get your feet wet in business, and then when it is time, you can then transition to become a limited company. But if you are a certain company that needs to be out there straight away, say you are a food company, you may wanna register as a limited company straight away because you're gonna be interacting with people in person a lot, People can come to your food truck and trip on something. They could get burnt or something. Um, yeah, so you just wanna be very careful and that could be a really good advantage for you if you are those kind of companies. But as an e-commerce business, you can kind of get away with being a sole trader for a while before becoming a limited company. So I hope that video helped clear up what a limited company is and what a sole trader is and what may work well for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you're gonna go for and make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys.